Hello and welcome. Thank you so much for joining me here today. My name is Abby Harmon and I'm a yogi, Salesforce engineer, and creator of Consider Volunteering, my brand of community empowerment. Today, we are be going to be taking a meditation session together. I'm going to be doing specifically a loving kindness meditation. This is the meditation that I wish to put out into the world because I know I need the help in gladdening the mind, as I've heard said previously, as we humans do have a negativity bias on a, just inherently. So I'm here to present a loving kindness meditation to help reverse those negative thoughts and make our minds a happier place to live. So let's get into our meditation today. Find your way to a comfortable seat. I'm on my meditation cushion here, but I definitely enjoy lying down. But somewhere where you're wakeful, where you can settle into your practice to help reverse those negative thoughts into more positive ones. And so loving kindness meditation or metta meditation, as I've learned from Sharon Salzberg, is a practice of repeating short phrases to ourselves, normally in our heads, but I will be saying them out loud to you for our presentation. So our phrases that we'll repeat to ourselves, the ones I will use as examples are, may I be happy, may I be healthy, may I be safe, may I live with ease. Peace, please feel free to pick your own phrases, but these are the ones I will be using. Thanks to Sharon Swalsberg again for her inspiration as they just really felt connected with me. So those are the ones I choose to leverage. So we will repeat these phrases in our roughly 30 minute practice together where we will jump into saying these phrases to different groups of individuals. So we will start traditionally with ourselves. We will send these phrases, as I mentioned, to myself because we must, you know, in theory, fill our own cup before we can fill others. So first we send loving kindness to ourselves. Then we will move on to someone we love, a teacher, family member. A lot of times this is my dog. Somewhere where the relationship is easy, where you want to appreciate the love that's already in your life. So we will send loving kindness phrases to our loved group of individuals. Then we transition into more of the abstract. So we will do a unbiased person. I normally refer to this as a member of the public. Somebody you would pass by in the grocery store, drive behind on the road. So we will send our loving kindness phrases to a member of the public to share our wealth of love, that connection that we know we all have together. Then we get a bit spicy and we send our loving kindness phrases to an enemy or somebody where the relationship is a bit difficult. My mind immediately goes to work, but we may not want to pick the hardest person to send our loving kindness phrases to. Now granted, sometimes that's as far as I can go and those beautiful times of those small incremental changes really do make a big impact. But if it is your first time with loving kindness meditation, you may wanna find a more soft challenge, you know? My dog can also challenge me in those ways too. Last but not least, we will send our loving kindness phrases to all beings everywhere. So we will share that united connection with all beings and send our loving kindness phrases to them. My mind definitely gets a nice circular globe-like perspective when I do loving kindness phrases to all individuals. So now that we've finished our overview of what is loving kindness or metta meditation, we will jump into practicing. So I hope with this time you've found your way into a comfortable seat or your meditation position for today. I always grab some water because I can never have enough. We will begin by sending our loving kindness phrases to ourselves. 
So hold yourself in your heart and start in on your phrases. May I be happy. May I be healthy. May I be safe. May I live with ease. May I be happy. May I be healthy. May I be safe. May I live with ease. May I be happy. May I be healthy. May I be safe. May I live with ease. The timing of your phrases will come as we practice more. No need to worry when you fall off. Simply pick up your phrases from the beginning and start again. The most crucial moment is when you realize you've drifted. May I be happy. May I be healthy. May I be safe. May I live with ease. This section of the practice for me really comes into play the first time you look in the mirror and you don't go directly to picking at yourself. What are my flaws? What's not good enough today? Instead, I found that I can see myself looking back at me. Maybe a slight smile comes to my face as I just appreciate who I am, my journey, the love that I have for myself. May I be happy. May I be healthy. May I be safe. May I live with ease. May I be happy, may I be healthy, may I be safe, may I live with ease. Dear friends, it is time to move to our next group of individuals. Finish up your round of phrases. Maybe pause for one second to feel in the body, 
what has shifted since we sat down. We will now send our loving kindness phrases to our loving relationship in our life. A teacher, a mentor, a loved one, maybe our dog. Someone you want to show the appreciation of the love you share. We will hold them in our hearts, our focus, and start our phrases again. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be safe. May you live with ease. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be safe. May you live with ease. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be safe. May you live with ease. I've been really fortunate in my life to find some true, deep friendships in the most unexpected places. And so I'm grateful that this loving kindness practice exists, where even if it's not in the direct sense to this person who I admire, I've heard a lot of people can even hold the Dalai Lama, some other spiritual leader during this time. You might not think that your impact matters, but I truly believe it does. Might be a bit of focus focus or energy talking, but you know when people care and when they continue to care for you. And that's a beautiful thing that I'm so glad we get to cherish during this short amount of time together. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be safe. May you live with ease. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be safe. May you live with ease. Get stagnant, lean into your phrases. May you be happy, may you be healthy, may you be safe, may you live with ease. We truly do take effect, even when the feeling is as passionate as other days. But it's always there, it's always meaningful. May you be happy, may you be healthy, may you be safe, may you live with ease.
And with that, we will shift again now to our public like individual. Maybe it's a person's face for you. Maybe you're a regular at the coffee shop. Maybe it's just a more general image of what the public is for you. But no matter what, we are all still connected. And so we take this time to cherish, be grateful for the connection that we all have together because we are community creatures and we need each other to function in this world. So may you be happy, may you be healthy, may you be safe, may you live with ease, may you be happy, may you be healthy, may you be safe, may you live with ease. I just caught myself thinking something spicy about my public group of individuals because you all creep into that category for me and the fear I have of the unknown that comes from the public seeing my meditations meditating in general it's absolutely terrifying People won't agree with me. They won't see my point of view. But I believe in me more than anything. And so, even with my fear, no matter how debilitating, I continue to send my loving kindness phrases to all of you, no matter if you agree or disagree with me. Because we are community on this one rock in the middle of the universe that has unlimited resources, but only if we work together. And so, may you be happy, may you be healthy, may you be safe, may you live with ease, may you be happy, may you be healthy, may you be safe, may you live with ease. Thank you for enduring through the struggle. Before we come up, we must go down a bit more. We will shift to sending our loving kindness phrases to the public wasn't difficult enough. 
to the difficult relationship that we deal with. For me, the name is always easy. The situation is always surface level. But we take this time to sit with the discomfort, feel the emotion finally, send our loving kindness phrases, and allow there to grow more space, to grow more space in this infinitely expanding universe. There's always more space to be made. And so with this difficult person, we send our loving kindness phrases. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be safe. May you live with ease. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be safe. May you live with ease. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be safe. May you live with ease. Difficult relationships can happen with people you love too. I was listening to Tara Brock, my other meditation teacher earlier. She was telling a story to somebody who asked a question about a loved one, repeating cycles, making the same mistakes, stuck in that same rut. And so how do you sit? with a loved one who you can't help keeps repeating the cycles no matter how much you try to help. And I just found what Tara's suggestion was so beautiful, so simple. She just said, keep loving, even when it's hard, even when you don't feel like you're making a difference. The love is what matters. It's also her advice for sitting with somebody who's dying, which that's for a different topic. But we send our loving kindness phrases with the deepest love that we can, even if that's the only contribution you can make to this difficult relationship. So may you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be safe. May you live with ease. May you be happy, may you be healthy, may you be safe, may you live with ease. I myself need a home to shake it out. Lots of feelings 
moving around because we are on our final group to send our phrases to. And that is all beings everywhere. This one always makes me so happy, so jubilant at the end of it. So expansive because truly all beings, may you be happy, may you be healthy, may you be safe, may you live with ease. We are all connected, plants, bugs, even the universe. May you be happy, may you be healthy, may you be safe, may you live with ease. May you be happy, may you be healthy, may you be safe, may you live with ease. I sure feel myself being held by my future self today. I feel the support of taking the effort to stand up for what I believe in, to share what I find most beautiful. Because I know we're all connected. And so my loving kindness phrases go out to all of you, all beings. Even the dirt you walk on. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be safe. May you live with ease. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be safe. May you live with ease. May you be happy, may you be healthy, may you be safe, may you live with ease, may you be happy, may you be healthy, may you be safe, may you live with ease, may you be happy, may you be healthy, may you be safe, may you live with ease, may you be happy, may you be healthy, may you be safe. May you live with ease. Those are our 30 minutes, my friends. It's been so lovely to connect with you today. 
I feel you even when I'm pre-recording this, which is awesome. And so, till next time, with love, namaste. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be safe. May you live with ease. Truly making a difference in the world.